Und damit willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Da meine Internetleitung gerade ein bisschen rumschlagt, heute mal nicht im Stream. Das ist aber auch nicht so schlimm, denn dann kann ich schlimmer... Äh, dann kann ich früher anfangen. Und kann dann auch nach einem kleinen Cut vielleicht auch das Ende mit aufnehmen. Wofür ich eine Kleinigkeit vorhabe. Aber erstmal der Citadel DLC. sent me a message about this apartment? I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. Danke. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Passen Sie auf sich auf. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. Okay, das ist nice. You never asked me about this, but my wife just called. My ex-wife. Nobody likes to talk about the toll that long months apart can have on military relationships. She wasn't military. She couldn't handle it. But it's not even about military and non-military damage. It's space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer. But that's reality. And it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you made the right choices. Ach, was liegt denn hier alles rum? First time you're standing there, the whole crew looking to you for direction. Unforgettable. I'd led men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. Do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them. Eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said. Let's see what we can find. Hier ist noch... Boah, der hat doch das überall liegen lassen. Aber dafür ist das Erwartung doch sehr aufgeräumt. Then a 
table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Moved like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold. Or running. He walked over and helped me up. 10-7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first specter. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then. Ah, das Ding ist toll. Da hatte ich sowas nicht vorher. Aber mit, no mit einem neuen Helfer von der Norma, ist das die alte? Oder ist das die no Ich bin gerade echt nicht sicher, ich sehe es nicht. Also von der Lackierung würde ich glatt sagen, das ist die SR2, aber... Irgendwie kann ich das nicht benutzen. Aber doch, hat geklappt. Sure, I can talk about Commander Shepard. Big topic. There's been a lot written about the Commander. But most of it isn't true. People are quick to judge. They don't know the whole story. I don't even know the whole story. But I know the man. Worked with him. Fought with him. Trust him with my life. Shepard's had some rough patches. Who of us hasn't? He's been forced to fight a lot of battles alone. God only knows how he got out of some of that. Makes your head spin. Thing is... You never heard a complaint. Never once got, no sir, I can't do that. He never hesitated. Few people know what Shepard's been through. I'd like to think I come pretty close. And I worry sometimes he forgets. There's a whole bunch of people who lose sleep over him getting back home. Maybe it doesn't need to be said. Maybe we're too dumb to say it. Soldiers like the Commander are rare. Men like Shepard? Even more rare. Nicht so interessant. Wir können ja nicht mit allem davon interagieren. Das ist gerade so groß. an enemy 
as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something, keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torian shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. Cool. Aha. Und oh Gott, was? Das ist ja wie die Sims. Na, ja, das haben wir nutzen wir noch nicht. situations they haven't trained for in those instances and there's more than I'd like to admit your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive that and the men and women you're fighting beside but soldiers are only as good as their leader isn't that true yeah a good leader can make an okay squad great a bad leader to make examples of them. What makes a good leader, then? Mm -hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a 
a terrible line to have to walk. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. Falls noch jemand wissen wollt, warum ich lieber Kalisa an Bord hätte statt Diana Ellers. Aha, aha. Uh. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Turian scientists in shackles and a human Turian fistfight at Cora's den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. The day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. Ich glaube, so langsam war es das mit den ganzen... Aufnahmen. Sind das, also ich verstehe schon, dass das ein bisschen langweilig ist. Wir hören jetzt seit über einer Viertelstunde diese Dinger. Und dieses Piepen, ne? Das ist auch überhaupt nicht nervig. Den haben Sushi laden auf meine Rechnung. Dann lassen wir Joker doch nicht warten. Ähm. Wo geht es hier raus? Das sieht auch nice aus. Hat irgendwie was von Deus Ex, finde ich. Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Oh Gott, irgendwie klang dieser Akzent ziemlich fake. Vielleicht liegt es auch nur an mir.
Hey, Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious, like French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You seen the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Oh, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. One's our ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email. I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. 